I mean hats off to your planning. What you planned, exact that happened. Freya did very odd and bad with Theo, now from Theo's anger. I can feel it. Soon he'll divorce Max's daughter, or either Max will close his sugar factory soon. I must say great job Edward. I'm now your fan. Thank you Sir Jacob, anything for you. Sir, now I'm pretty sure Max will contact you. Then you have to respond him full. It's your time to put forward your demands in front of him. You will ask him to close the sugar plant. Or if not then Theo will not live with Freya anymore. You also make him understand, that he used your own son Theo, against you many times. Now it's time to repay. This will get on his nerve, he will agree to us, if not. Then he will let Freya be divorced from Theo. Tell me Edward, if he fulfill my all the demands, because Freya is pregnant now. Then what we will do in that case? What will be the next step of Theo? Sir Jacob as per our plan. Sooner or later, Theo will sure divorce Max's daughter. Because, she is not good for us at all. Until she is with Theo as his wife. Max will always end the capturing of oil her Mason mentioned. He will surely play his stunts and tactics against this empire. So better for this family, business and for Theo as well. She must be separated from Theo. And yes we can wait until the baby's birth and or the sugar factory into our name. You mean to say Edward, in any case? Whether Max get agree upon our demands or not. In both situations. Theo will divorce Freer. Is it so? Yes sir, exactly I'm saying this. And all this is nothing personal with Freer at all. It's her father who tend us to do so. And for the establishment and betterment of the Mason Empire. We have to take this step. Sir Jacob. Otherwise, Max will destroy us. Millie, now tell me now, how to solve this matter. It getting instance now? I'm also think about this Max, now you see Freya is expecting. Soon she will deliver her baby. I'm so concerned about her and her baby as well. But as Freya told me, Theo is insisting so much. He is forcing Freya, to ask you to close the sugar factory of Railway Road, and then he'll set up his own factory there. Moreover to this, we also came across the affair of Theo in the past. This is another thing. Well, Max, I'm still in so much tension and confused too, that what we should do and what not. It gave me a severe migraine. Yes Millie you are right. I'm also thinking the same. If by any chance Freya was not pregnant, at once I'll ask her to give divorce to Theo. But, now we've to think, we can't raise any wrong step at this time. And let me tell you one thing more here Millie, about the love affairs and all that we heard about Theo, it looks totally fake to me. I know Theo is Jacob's son, but you have to agree me on this Theo is so much different from his family, he have zero negativity. Look, I'm in my old age, I met with so many and many kind of people. I can judge anyone, I can read the eyes and face of any person. This affair story is also some sort of planning nothing else from you Millie. I don't know why, but I feel this way. And about that sugar plant. That is nothing for the happiness of my daughter Freya, I'll close that shut it fully. No worries at all. But what my concern is, Jacob, yes he is very sharp mind man, he planned in advance about everything. Millie, you are my wife. You are with me from 40 years, you are witness to this, I make this all business and the Max's empire myself. I struggle so hard, I worked so hard to avail this all. But, Jacob, got everything in plate, his father established this business and his father-in-law put all the shares into his business as well. He have no idea about the efforts and hard work of mine. But anyways, I can do anything. Only for the sake of my daughter. Yes Max exactly. I'm of same point of view as yours. I also think about Freya and her child. How they will live without their father. It's so hard to live like that. Well. I think you must talk with Theo directly or with Jacob. You can call them, over here. Because, I don't want you to go there at Mason Mansion. There will be Ruby, Isla they are very rude, indecent and had a very bad tongue ladies. I don't want to confront them. They can insult you so bad, so it's better to call Theo or if you want his father to be here. Yes Millie, I think we should talk with Theo. Should I call him now? Alright. Theo is a good option to talk with them Jacob, 
Call him now and ask him to come over here. And yes, you also gave to say this. Whatever happened yesterday, in between Theo and Freya, it shouldn't be happened at all. They both are at fault. Freya also shouldn't say like that to him, and Theo too. Now leave this battle conflict behind and patch it up. And he took Freya from here, and they both live good and happily into their own bungalow. This is not a way to spend a life. I don't want Max, this fight of Theo and Freya go on prolong. So, as a parent we must solve this matter soon. Okay Millie, I'm going to call Theo over here then. See Theo, it's Freya's good luck, I went to that bungalow, and she was not there. Otherwise I'll tell her, how dare she is to talk you like that. I can't bear this. If anybody misbehave with my nephew at all. From the day one from your marriage Theo. We always listen to Max and his family. We always obey them for your sake only. But, not now. I know this is the so-called planning of that evil woman Muley. She is a sharp mind woman. Max, always used to follow her. She is behind this all. I know it. She said. Theo and Freya will separate from everyone, we agreed, then she used Theo, against his own father, we were again silent, then they, plotted a massive attack on our business and set up the cooking oil factory and vehicle factory against us, we again totally out and silent, and cherry to the cake was, Max inaugurated those factories from our son Theo, to let us down, to let this Oliver Mason empire down, we were silent put tapes on our mouths, that after bearing this all, Theo only asked for a very little favor from him to shut down his sugar factory. Then he showed his real picture to us. How cleanly and dramatically he denied to Theo. Her daughter called us greedy people. She started misbehaving with his husband, who loved him so blindly. Is we are mad enough now? Isn't it? We are fools. Now, you all sit here and watch me go. I'll go to Max's house by myself and tell him their actual worth. And I'll show them their real faces. They are so down and low people. How dare she is to call Masons a fraud and cheater. They have cheated us with every aspect. I bear each and everything Theo, but not now. I can't digest you insult by that third class unethical girl. I can't compromise on this thing. Auntie Isla, she insulted me in front of every servant out there. She talked with me so badly. Without any reason. I told her many times, I don't know what she was talking about any girl from my past. Auntie Isla, you know me so well I never ever have a female friend, and where it comes from eventually. I can't take this anymore. I always put Freya on priority. I gave her so much love, respect and care. But, she is not worthy to that. I feel so bad right now. I can't take this anymore Theo, I will tell that nonsense girl. I will tell her how to misbehave with anyone. How she has the courage to talk like that with you Theo. You are my one and only nephew. Who is so innocent and a pure man. I'll not spare this family. Theo, here you go. Max is calling you on your phone many times. Layla, here. Give me Theo's phone. I will talk with this Max. Auntie Isla, it's better you should not talk right now. Because you are damn angry and frustrated. And mommy also said, ask Theo, to talk with Max and get to know, what he wants now from us. Okay Theo, pick his call, then tell me what he said to you. Okay Auntie Isla. What Max said to you now Theo? Mommy, he called over me to his home. He said, please do come to my home right now. Need to talk with you? Oh, then what you said Theo? I said, I will ask my daddy first then I will tell you. Then, did you told this to Jacob and ask him for this? Daddy said, wait for five minutes, I'll call you back Theo. Alright Theo, yes you have to do the same. As your daddy will ask you to do. You are not a kid anymore. Leave this love dream, and be live in a real life please. Stop dreaming about love stories now. Mommy, Freya is pregnant with my baby. Wow Theo, you still have that soft corner for that girl. Okay then, do one thing. 
let us to sit on the roads. Your father, mother, sister and auntie. We all will be beggars soon. You just go to your wife and child. And give the remaining business and this olive mason empire. Decorate it into a plate. And present it to Max, what he actually wants from you. You have already given him to major industry of Jacob, which is our cooking oil factory and vehicle factory. All the others also you can gifts that as well. No worries Theo, because Max's daughter is your wife and she is having your baby. Shut up now please Theo. Go away from my sight and wait for your daddy's call. Do as he asks you to do. Go now. Okay. Okay mommy. Calm down please. Edward, now tell me what is next. Sir Jacob, why Theo go there? If Max has some sort of issue, he wants to talk about anything. Or if he has to finish this all conflict, then he must come to Theo. Why he go for his house? No not at all sir. Why should we again let ourselves down again and again? No it's time for the Max to come and apologize from Theo about the absurd behavior of his daughter Freya. She insulted our son a lot, without any solid reason. Then, Theo asked Max to fulfill his demands first. Then we will talk with him. All right, I get this Edward. I'll call Theo and tell him this all. I can't let this happen all over again Edward. Can you see the health of my dear sister Isla? She is getting so down day by day. Just only because of this Max, his sugar factory on that railway road. Oh no. Not again. I can't bear this again. I need that factory on any cost now. Yes, and this is the right time to fulfill our all demands from Max Sir Jacob. He will fulfill our demand at this time sir. Because somehow he is under us now. But, be careful too from him. It's that, he is so clever and efficient man. He may have some planning behind this all. You are 100% right Edward, wait I'll call to Theo first. And ask him to call Max, and say to him. He must pay a visit to Theo, not him. Why you are here? Fake man? Sir Anderson, I took a very big and hot news for you today. Your mind will blow up after listening this. Oh please stop this play fake man. Am I a fool by the way? You and all your news are so fake. I can't believe you anymore. Your last news of inauguration. It has defamed my channels and their ratings so much. You know I get noticed from government officials. So I don't need of your news please. Oh no no. Don't worry this time Sir Anderson. This news is so real. I'm 200% sure about this. But you have to give me 3 to 4 hours. To give you full details and all. Until Max come to Jacob's house. Please sir. What is so special and breaking news in this Edward? It's just sir, you have to wait for the few hours. Then you can break this news into the media so. Theo has clashes with Freya. Jacobs and Max's are struggling for their relationships. But, let Max come to Jacobs house. And ask his apology. Edward, if this is for real. Then you don't know. I'll give you a brand new car as a gift. But, this should be all true only then. Otherwise, you know me so well. I called Theo, Millie he said, I'll ask my father about it. Then now he called me and said, Sorry I can't be able to come at your place Uncle Max. You can come here at my home, if you want to. Now what to do Millie? Alright Max, I know. They are not that much easy people at all. Well, Max you can go there at Mason Mansion. And talk with Theo and Jacob. Ask them to sort out this all conflict. And we should not indulge business matter into personal. Freya and Theo must resolve their matter and live together. As they were living before. This is not the right way to live a life. And however, about that sugar factory. Okay I will close that but only for the happiness of my daughter and Theo. I want Freya and Theo live like one couple. Because Freya is pregnant with Theo's child. 
this will affect their child, which is not good at all. Because, a child should live with his mother and father both. So they should ponder upon these things also. Okay Millie, but always remember I bow down on my knees only for the sake of Freya, and them closing that sugar factory. Just because of our daughter and her child only. Dad, no. Don't do this. You are elder than Theo, if you call him, then he should come here to talk with you. Listen to me, you are not going anywhere. It was the decision of mom and your dad, that I agreed to get married with Theo, but now I came across all the things in behind. He is such a fraud and cheater man. I don't want to spend my life with him. And dad, you are not going there. Also you will not shut any of your business due to this all. I won't let this happen. Freya, my dear daughter. This is nothing for you my darling. I can do anything for you and for your child. You just have rest please. Let me do what I want to do please. Now things are different dear, you are pregnant, and I don't want any bad now. Dad, you are not going there. It's final. And about my child. Dad I will brought up my child by my own. This is my child. I don't want to live with that fraud cheater man. Freya my daughter please relax and calm down now. This is not a right time for showing your aggression. Everyone had right to expand their businesses. Now you see, your dad also opened up the same business as of Jacob's. Cooking oil and vehicle factory. My lovely daughter this is a business battle only. And this is a part of the life. Jacob's family married you with Theo. Because they want to win the race of business from Max. Same was our point of view. We also want to win the business race from Jacob's. So now everything equal. Mom business battle is something different from all this. You both wants to win the race of business you can do whatever you want to do, it's none of my business at all. I don't want to be the part of this race and also don't want to participate in any business competition. But Theo, he cheated on me. What was that? He make a patient of depression. A girl I know her. Her name is Maria what was that? He sent his pictures every day with good morning messages what was that? Mama even after marriage he went to her home with his family and he also know about me, that I'm expecting. Now he is going to become a father. What was that? Only tell me this if dad, did same with you then what is your reaction? If dad cheated on you then you would bear it? Theo lied to me, this whole time. Mom, you know about my past I never ever make any boyfriend or even not a male friend in my whole life. But what he had done with me everything is in front of you now mom and dad. So you both listen to me now, dad will not go there. This is my life and I've already taken my decision. I will not live with this cheater that's all. Theo my dear son. Did you already told to Max? He have to come here. You will not there. Yes daddy I've already told him. I am not coming uncle. If you wanted to meet me, then you can come to my home. It's almost two hours Theo. He did not come yet. I don't know daddy about it. I've already told you I conveyed your message to him. Well fine. If he came here, then we will talk to him. Suppose if he didn't came then we have also other options. Because on business no compromise. Daddy what do you mean by this? What is your next option? I don't understand what are you talking about? I said, now it's on your mother. She will take final decision about you and Freya. And you must obey to her decision. Daddy I hope he will come, don't worry. Yes if he come then. This is so well and good. And he agrees with our demands then that is also good for him. Otherwise, we will take our final decision. Daddy I don't know what is your final decision and about which decision you are talking about. But please one thing you have to keep in your mind. Freya is my wife and I love her a lot. And you also know in few months. I'll become a father. We will be the parents to that child. Shut up Theo. Don't pretend like film actor in front of me. Is this shooting place or my home? In few months you get so much in love with that girl. That you forget about your parents. Put everything on stake. No this will not happen here. Daddy, I love my wife and my child. And what you love is. Your business only. You don't love your children this much. So daddy, keep it in your mind. 
I am a husband and a father too. I'll not worsen the things here. Because for me, my wife and child much more important. It's your business battle with Max, and it shouldn't be with my wife and child. Please. Wow Theo, this is what we deserve. Ruby do you listen to him? So Mr. Theo, let me tell you one thing here. This old business, industries and all this Mason Empire is yours not mine. Soon after I'll die. As I'm so sick nowadays. And automatically it will transfer to you. You are the only heir of this Oliver Mason Empire. And here you are telling me straight, won't be indulged Freya into this. So tell me one thing here. You told me, when you asked her about the shutting down of Sugar Factory, how she insulted you and said to you, to keep you into your worth. And took the side of Max. This is all because, she loves her parents and business more than her husband and all. And here his story is so different. Our only son is, so drowned into the so-called imaginary love of Freya. And he become a filmy actor day by day. Wow. This is so happening by the way. Mr. Theo, you should have to be sincere like that girl Freya, as she is sincere with her parents. Hello guys, this is me Sayyid Mohsin Raza from Naja Cartoons uh, and thanks for supporting my channel and uh, I must request to you, uh, please continue your support to Naja Cartoon and keep subscribe, like, share my channel. Thank you.